All right, here we go. Back to the action. Uh, yeah, you know she's dead. You know she's dead as fuck. <laughs> nah, nah, she's dead. There's... Nope, I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> Do sex machina. Sorry, but you can't come with me. You're really brave, Salim. Someday, this is all gonna be over. No, not true. Not true one bit. You can just go back to being a kid. Yeah, sure. Jamal was around here somewhere. I don't have much time. Uh, hello? Knock this dude out. Thank you. Fuck. That's it. Jamal's here. Okay, now find a place close to the house where I can take cover. You know what you have to do. Find Jamal and hide him. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Hello, fellow soldiers. Let me just mind my own business, please. <laughs> Shit. Let this be a thing. Oh, come on. Right here at the student's feet. Come on. Look down at the student's feet, for fuck's sakes. Thank you. I've got to do it. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. 
I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him. Wow, Rambo, this gun has infinite bullets. Come and open the door for me. I need to confirm that your mom is dead. Hurry. Hurry. Okay, come on. There it is. Suffer humanity's greatest opaque. This fucking little brat, I swear to God. Oh, really? Um, no. <laughs> She's completely injured. Oh, 
All right, this fucking dude. Seal Team 6 in the house! Why couldn't they do this before? <laughs> uh, it's so dumb, like, they couldn't just do that before with other... <laughs> no, they wanted to say... They wanted to say, no, the American government had nothing to do with it. They wanted plausible deniability, but then all of a sudden they're like, oh, we had a, a person. Uh, it's so dumb. Ten years in the CIA. Never seen anything like it. The boss sends his own private helicopter to get Major back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and Iden, of course. Jody, you okay? That glass is too small for your hands. Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. I'm going home. It's just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in. And the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election oh, of the new Somalian. president Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. You must have found Jamal. You lied to me. What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? We're not politicians. We had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now, we had a job to do and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Uh-oh. Oh, shit's popping off now. Listen, listen, you calm down. All right, we'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated you used me to do your dirty work! What difference does it make? Jody, you was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands! Some kid lost its father because of me! Because I trusted you! Oh, because man. I trusted you! We were doing the right thing! Oh, shit. What am I, you, Ryan? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence! What? Oh, that's not turbulence. I can't, I can't control it! No. Nope. Did you also lie to me that night in my apartment? Oh, shit. Jody, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Oh, shit! No parachute, low ground impact. She might walk away with a broken leg. She might walk away with a broken leg. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. She's got that fucking force field bullshit. Nathan Dorkins. 
Nathan! They used me to kill those people. Cody, what happened? <laughs> just instantly knows. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I was just doing what I was told. Where are you? Is Clayton with you? No. No. No, I ran away. You can't run away from them. They'll hunt you down and they'll find you. You've got to come in, Jody. We'll talk. I'm sure... Oh, it's over, Nathan. Through being the toy. The toy of justice. You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Oh, shit. Listen, tell I... them, Nathan. I'll kill them. So she's warned them like three different times for trying to find her. And I'm pretty sure that's the end of the chapter. Ah, it's crazy. So much happened in this one. Kissed Ryan. All right. Avoided capture. Nice. Took weapon. Rescued on the roof? There was a different way you could be rescued? Spotted at the checkpoint. Uh, snuck to the cathedral. An undiscovered path. What was the undiscovered path? That might have been a little bit different. Old friends. So this is after the Navajo. So we're going back to old friends. This is probably where we meet up with those people that were living underneath the bridge. The homeless people. Like that girl Tuesday who's not real, whose real name is not Tuesday. Obviously. No way. She got long hair again. And he cleaned up. Damn, he cleaned up good. Jody. My little princess. Oh. Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. He's wearing a wire. A little sad. And lost. Like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Mm. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. <laughs> and Dawkins? How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the infra world? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> when the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Oh. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? Wait, what? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. Wait, what? I've got to Have I? Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. 
you might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. What about I the woman that was like her. a few episodes ago? I was in like a little house as a little girl. I'm sorry, what? If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. I'm so confused. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Thank you, Cole. Maybe I missed out on something. Or maybe I just haven't seen it yet. But I might have just accidentally gotten some spoilers. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? Judy. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. <laughs> oh, shit. That was good, actually. That was funny. <laughs> Bitch, I didn't wait in no car. I... I'm a damn cat taxi driver. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit, that that was fucking funny. Priceless. Try the polite approach. Get some every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Authorization. Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Hmm. Alright, dude. Here, you wanna... We'll play these games. It's, I like playing these games. These games are fun. I take over you. You look me up. Nora Gray. Found her. Nora Level Gray, seven. seventh floor, room 43. Hey, there's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. Uh, okay. Perfect. Maze, amazing. So far, so good. Level seven. Should we take out the security cams? Oh. What now? I don't know. Find a way to open that door. I don't know. Behind you. Okay, hang on. Let's knock that out. Perfect. Must be 
Slot, button. What about the security room? I see a key reader, like a like a slot reader, but not seeing like any real way. Okay, hang on. Okay, he doesn't have anything. There's nothing really... I'm missing something here, I know I am. That's further down. There's... Is there something I'm not seeing here as Jody? No. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe next episode I can figure it out. Alright, and we're back. Alright, uh, still at this door. I wonder if I need to cause, like, a fire or something? Maybe... Okay. All right. Oh, he's too far away. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. 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 Okay. 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 Which means I need to make a distraction in here. Okay. Nap time. Still hungry. Oh my god, chair's moving in the other room. Oh, I better go investigate. Oh, what's this? And let me just steal your soul. Perfect. Oh, don't let me... Don't mind me. Let me just open this door, Mr. Dave Norman, while I just go and fuck off inside. Let me just knock myself out. Thanks. I need that. Hey, perfect. All right, that's thirty-six. Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, Jesus. Crazy for really freaking me out. Can we find room forty-three and get the hell out of here. Knock oh, that camera out. There's usually like another camera. Hmm. Dude has no problems just walking all the way down here. With all those cameras pointing at him. Knock out. out 45 over there to the left 43 over here. I found it Jody shit good job <laughs> Jody I'm here I'll wait here Jody All right she may have lost her mind. She may have lost her she mind. She might not even know you're there. She will in spirit. Maybe 
You shouldn't go in. I have to try. That's what she should have said. I have to try. Clearly still sane, looks like, to me. Although... Mom, it's me. Judy. Wow, she definitely looks like Ellen Page. Hmm. Her mom was involved in the same kind of experiment that she does. Nathan was involved? The mother and the father, both gifted. Do you realize how important this baby is? You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! Okay, so I've never seen this. Wow. He may develop some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Jody, I missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that.
There we go. Ending her suffering. Fuck! Oh, fuck! So, uh... Vikings setting sail. Okay, I'm clearly still inside the asylum. I'm sorry, the psychiatric hospital. Yeah, look at all those books and shit, dude. Yeah, of course this this dude has to be. I, I'm I'm clearly assuming I'm inside the director's room. National Depart. All right. Okay. Why do I get the feeling this is Nathan's office? Oh, mother fucker. Oh, mother fucker. I would... Mmm. Mmm. I, um... I need to somehow put down the phone. Because I keep calling it. Department of Paranormal Activity. Yep. The DPA. Whoa, that's a... That's a thing. That looks like an eye. There's Ryan. Nope, that's uh, Willem Dafoe. Nathan. The most powerful condenser I've ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. It's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. Lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Hmm. Please have a seat. Hmm. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. Just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. Hmm. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. That's not true. My mother would never hurt me. There you go. They couldn't take that chance, look. Of course they couldn't. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Mm. Tried to protect you as best as I could. Mm. So now, you're just going to hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? 
We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Ian, it's very you clear. Know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. Hmm. They want to offer you a deal. All right, what's the deal? You do this for them. Okay. And they let you out, you're free. Oh, wow. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. I wonder if she'll just, like, say no. Like a big bucket of no. Nah, probably not, right? <laughs> Even percent of other players have taken these paths. Asked about Dawkins. All right. Distracted the guard electrical panel. Ooh. Ended Nora's suffering. Oh, it's so hard. Took the medallion. Oh. Didn't explore the cells with Ida. I could have explored. All right. Learned about your father's name. Okay. That's not so bad. Briefing. Okay. So after Nora is the briefing. So I'm, I'm clearly getting to the end of the story now. It looks like I'm in the final, like, hour or two. <clears throat> According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hainanjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Our building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infra world and make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. The team will... Team? Show them in, Marla. Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Okay, I see Ryan. Clayton's team goes One's the instructor. Small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Well, it's not so bad. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the info world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. All right, there we go. Let's turn on some light, though. I don't go blind anymore. Good to see you. It's act distant. For the mission's sake, I'll try and forget what a fucking bastard you are. Ooh. Jody, I... You know what? Don't even try. Mm. Oh, and the slam shoulder. Interrogation! I grew tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Do it! Do it, motherfucker! Do it! Pull the trigger! Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. Mm. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? 
it is. Where are you? Alright, so the, apparently the mission has gone belly up. It's it's snowing there? Alright, cool. I'm assuming they're in like the eastern peninsula. Like near like more like the Yellow Sea. <laughs> you sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. Storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Iden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Iden? Freezing out here. Could you please find somewhere we can hide? There's a house over there. Got it. Let's go. And yeah, cross country skis. You really gotta sit there and fucking make sure they're waxed up real good. Sometimes you'd see Olympic skiers. They'd sit there and. They would do all sorts of crazy ski. I like the ones where like they have to like uh, like ski shooting, I guess. I don't know what the proper term for it is called. It's where they would ski to a distance. You know, stop, shoot. Same thing like grouse hunting would be like the same thing. In like the winter. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow. For nothing. Fuck. I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey, look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say. Then shut the fuck up. Oh. You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? Well, she's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. All right, let me just. Yep. Did you get a connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. Damn, all this stuff is soaking. You're still angry with me, huh? You better find something. We won't make it. It probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. Oof. Okay, why are you walking to the right? Walk left, stupid. I have, uh, I have now officially seen a thermos that can hold, uh, hot things for three days now. That's an explosive. Put the C4 down. Genius. <laughs> Give me five, Vince. Did you see that, Jody? Yeah. That's yeah, great work, guys. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? 
It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing.